Hey guys, uh, Garrett here. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about two different apps, uh, workout apps. Uh, one's called Freeletics and one call, is called Dr. Muscle. Uh, before I begin, a little bit about, about myself. Um, I have my master's in exercise science. I have numerous high level certifications, including NSCA, CSCS, and my <laughs> CASSN. And I've been in the industry for about uh, 10 years or so. Um, and so I've seen a lot of different apps and stuff come into the game, a lot leave. I've seen the good and the bad. So I have a pretty good idea of what different apps are trying to give to the public and where they fail and what makes a, an app a good app. So I, I want to start with Freeletics first. So I had just heard of Freeletics and I downloaded it and everything was good and when I first opened it it honestly looked very uh, slick and very clean I guess you will and I got into the app and I tried to download you know a you know free trial and then you had to give your credit card and all this stuff and before I had looked at some reviews and there was an alarming amount of most of the very some a lot of the reviews were good had about 4.5 but all the ones that that were bad were one and almost every one i saw was about you know fraud that they were misled to believe that there was a free trial or that it was a uh, one month and it wasn't automatic automatic renewal or, excuse me renewal and um they wound up with these bills that they had to pay all this money that they weren't expecting to pay. So I hate that. I don't, I don't like bad business practice. Um, it just left a bad taste in my mouth. I didn't experience it, but at the same time, I did not give them my credit card information uh, because I didn't want to be hassled. When I did get into the app, you put in your uh, information and whatnot, and then it gives you a what what i felt when i first saw it was a very generic workout plan and that's what it was i read some more reviews and there are a lot of people who had said they had changed their variables and they just spit out the same literally the same uh plan um when i started to mess around with the app more there were a a lot of what i call you know, pop fitness or very kind of markety, gimmicky things that I noticed, such as like names for workouts, like fancy names like Aphrodite and, you know, explosive power workout, I, stuff like that. Those weren't exact, Aphrodite was, but just these very kind of gimmicky names. And I thought to myself, like, this would be very confusing if I was a beginner. Um, if I was a beginner, I want to be told what to do. I don't want a million different uh, suggestions that are flashy and colorful. I don't want to be in that scenario where I have to pick which one I need to do because that's why I'm buying the app. I want to be. I want you to tell me what to do. Um, and so I saw that was like that would be a big issue. Um, and then on top of that, all almost basically every one was based off you know hit either hit protocol or circuit training protocol nothing wrong with hit nothing wrong with circuit training if they're used um, in conjunction with a proper strength and conditioning program um, hit is not a strength workout uh, it's great at metabolic conditioning it's great at raising your vo2 mass and cardiovascular functions but it is not what you want to do when you're trying to build muscle or build strength thing is it's easy to deliver okay if i need to write you a hit program um it's very easy to do the exercises are usually simple and again there's nothing wrong with that and you spit it out so i did not like that either um all that being said that was really kind of the gist of it. the one cool thing um is i did look into one of the hit programs and there's like a trainer and he gets on the screen and he does the movements for you. So what a lot of other reviews said too was it's like a, a YouTube video. Right? I didn't see anything on Freeletics that you could not find on YouTube. Um, the same, I mean, hit is hit. You can find a million different hit workouts. None of them are 
there are definitely some that are better, but they're nothing's drastically different. So all in all, if you just want something because you have zero idea, you just want something fun to do, I, it would be okay. Um, now on the flip side, Dr. Muscle, I've talked about decimal, excuse me, Dr. Muscle before. It's completely different, completely ends of the spectrum. Freeletics is your poppy, fun, uh, really no long-term game plan. Dr. Muscle is exactly what I would be doing for you if I was your trainer. Um, it uses different types of periodization, um, uses dupe, uses different uh, practices such as um, RPE, rate of perceived exer exertion. It uses good, big compound movements. Um, I said, I've said this before in a, another review is that when you put in your numbers and your, your different stats and maybe you have some, your, your, your knee, you have lack of mobility, it literally does give you a personal program. Because I went in just like Freeletics and I went into Dr. Muscle and I changed my answers. I changed different things. I said, oh, you know, I have a, you know, my back hurts. And it actually gave me different uh, exercises that were suited to work around my needs. Uh, it's, it sounds cliche, but it really is <coughs> like having a personal trainer in your pocket. It works with you. One thing I love about it is that you do get to learn as you progress. Um, it's not just, okay, here, do this. You go and it teaches you. There's a bunch of different articles uh, and different links to information. I think if you were to use Dr. Muscle for a year, you'd be good to go for you know, maybe not the rest of your life, but you would you would definitely be a lot smarter in the gym um, compared to Freeletics. If you used it for a year, after a year, you would probably be burned out with fitness because you still have no idea what you're doing. Um, Dr. Muscle, again, it, it, it is, it's, it's a little bit costly, but it doesn't cost as much as a personal trainer, um, not near as much. And if you are serious about working out and you're, you really – are trying to change, you're really trying to grow muscle with a scientific backed program. Um, Dr. Muscle, you, you're not going to beat Dr. Muscle. Um, it, just, it really is one of the best plans I've seen uh, on the market. So that being said, uh, I want to thank you for your time and uh, yeah, give it a shot. Again, it's the one thing with Dr. Muscle, 100% free trial. You don't have to give them any information. You go on, log your name. Um, and you're, bam, you can try it. If you don't want to do anything, you don't even have to call them to cancel because you never had to give them your information in the first place. So uh, if you just want to test the waters, go for it.